I'm savoring a first and last taste of freedom before getting married next week. To a total stranger. At least you're not an indentured servant. Indentured servant? If I'd like to have my breakfast hot, but a cart will make me pay. And I have to fetch the eggs myself, and the barn's a mile away. It's cold and wet, yet still I get an omelet on my plate. But in my head, I'm back in bed, snuggled up and sleeping late. Really? Really. But it's all right. I mean, I'm used to it. And you? Well... Well... If I want some eggs, I ring the bell, and the maid comes running in. And she serves them on a silver tray, and she brings a cookie tin. And while I eat, she rubs my feet, and strolling minstrels play. But I'd rather be in my library, reading science books all day. I'm just like you. You are? You're just like me. There's somewhere else we'd rather be. Somewhere that's ours, somewhere the dreams come true. Yes, I am a girl like you. You'd never think that it was so. But now I've met you and I know. It's plain as day, sure as the sky is blue. That I am a girl like you. So, you're a singer. No. I work at Madame Carp's penitentiary. Ah, uh, I mean, dress emporium. I love Madame Carp's dresses. I made the one you're wearing. You made this? The design looks so complicated. Oh, but it isn't really. First I choose a fabric from the rack and I pin the pattern down. And I stitch it in the front and back and it turns into a gown. I wear the gown without my crown and dance around my room. And imagine life without the strife of an unfamiliar groom. But I'd never let my mother know. I wouldn't want to disappoint her. I completely understand. I'm just like you. I think that's true. You're just like me. Yes, I can. We take responsibility.